Good morning everybody and hello and welcome to my humble abode once again. What I'd like to do today is to do some more immersive engineering. I'd like to make a squeezer and I think a biodiesel plant I think is what it's called for green power. So without further ado let's just hop down to the workshop and what I've been reading in the book let's just have the book here what we need to do is to make a, a biodiesel plant and we'd also like to make a where did that go to oh what did I just do there? Tools and machinery, conveyor belts, external item router, mining drill, revolver, crusher, excavator. I don't think it was any of those. Power and do. Breaker switch, high voltage. No, it's none of those. It must be back in tools and machinery. External heater, item router, mining drill, revolver, crusher, excavator. Well, that's strange. That's the recipe for crushers, excavators. No, nope. where's it gone to? Let's have to make a gun. Money rule we don't need. Item router. No. Nope. External heater wouldn't really be appropriate. It must be. Um, Review resources. Biodiesel. Here we are. Right. So what we need is what we'd like to do is to build one of these, which is biodiesel, and this is a planter. This is an industrial squeezer, and you make that with lots of these light engineering blocks and eight of these industrial squeezers. And the next one you can build is a fermenter which we need these blocks for. And there's a lot of blocks here and the recipe for those is quite repetitive. So what I'm going to do is build a cyclic assembler and at the same time I'm going to build another machinist workbench. So let's start with the machinist workbench which is one of these. Fairly straightforward recipe. One piece of paper, two copper, one strong box, strong boxes, a chest surrounded by tin, which I've got one of those. Um, in the chest behind me and one crafting table okay plenty of paper crafting table we can make very quickly and a strong box I think is in one of these chests try this one here we are reinforced strong box oh maybe just a strong box let's go back here and see if we can capture this recipe. So one piece of paper, one strong box, one crafting table and two pieces of copper which I didn't usually usually use here but I don't have any at the moment. Pieces of copper. Ah, so it is just a straightforward strong box. Okay. Try again. So we need in this particular case it was a chest, that's fairly straightforward. Surrounded by four pieces of tin. Tin I have. A strong box. Okay. So let's go back to this recipe. I should have everything in my inventory. Oh no. What am I missing? Try that again. It's funny how they move around as well. Strong box. Okay. Crafting table. Copper ingots. Strong box. And a piece of paper. Strange. Sometimes that doesn't work. So the other thing we'd like to make was a cyclic assembler. So. And the cyclic assembler is this machine. Now oh, Steve's carts. Here. We don't need to make a resident one, we'll just make the straightforward basic one. So we need four pieces of glass, 
vor einiges. And what else do we need is one, one tin gear which we already have us prepared. Oops, turn that again. And one tin gear. So. So now we need two copper gears and two more tin gears. One redstone reception call. So let's do the redstone reception call first. So two pieces of redstone, one gold ingot gives me a redstone reception coil. So now we need to go back into the chest here and get two copper gears and two tin gears. Right, I think we now have everything we need. Oh, another chest. Okay. Lots of chests today. But I'll only make one. So, and again. Let's try again. Let's see if this works. You see the shift and the uh, shift and left clicks worked. So what we also need is some blueprints. Now blueprints are made out of two pieces of paper like this and one piece of lapis. So we'd have ten blueprints. Right, I think that's all I need. Let's go downstairs and start to use these things. I do need power for the assembly. Uh, let me move these out of the way. I think it'll be a pickaxe for these, yes. Okay, let's put down here the machine is work there. Should we put down the cyclicus we'll put down this chest first of all. I'll put beside the chest the machining which doesn't work together so where is it now? Machine this workbench yeah. and we'll put on the other side of here the cyclic assembler. But the cyclic assembler does need power. In fact, because I was having carrying it, it should have power. No, it doesn't got any power. So we need to give that some power. Okay. Right, let's put into this chest here some schematics to start with. And we will need plenty of copper as well. In fact, that should go into this chest here. Plenty of copper there, plenty of iron. And what we need to do, let's go back to the book here and have a look. So we need a light engineering block to start with. So we'll make that first of all on the machinist's workbench. So what we'll do, We'll take three of these out of here. We'll put those in here like this. Keeps keeps the stack in there. So we want the light engineering machine block. So if I do that start immersive, then we have the immersive engineering. This is the light engineering machine block. And that needs fairly straightforward, three copper four iron and two of these mechanical components. The mechanical component is one copper surrounded by uh, the corners of uh, iron. So let's just capture that. Let's write that to this schematic here. You see now that, that becomes that schematic. So all we need now is some iron. So I'll take uh, two stacks of iron and one stack of copper and put that into this chest here into this machinist workbench and then I can start to take out items but before we go and do too much let's go and get some power from upstairs I generally have a spare power supply somewhere about there we got hardened energy cell which is fully charged 2 million that'll be fine and we will probably also need a cable so let's just go and get a cable what shall we use today? Let's take a couple of redneck cables. And where should we put it? Let's put it down. Ah, there's no reason why it can't go on the top, huh? So, let's move those out of the way. Let's do it like this. Now, 
this is now getting power which is great so all we need to do is to take the schematic that we've got here out of here make sure we've got some copper and some iron here with us and we put the schematic in here and we probably want to produce a I'm not sure how many let's put in 16 of these things so I'll do it slick it like this okay and therefore it doesn't matter how much copper I put in what should happen as we get out I didn't see that it was so fast into this chest for our mechanical components that's the first part I probably need more than that so let's go back in here put in another 16 that'll give us another eight the four I mean so the next component we need to do is to make the light engineering block and that is done by these two so let's take this schema out of here so of course we need copper so what we'll do is select this schematic and write that to this here so now we see the light engineering block we can do the same thing in here, but it's much easier to do in the other one. So put that there, and put that there. So what do we need for this? It tells me three copper ingots, two iron metric, and four iron ingots. So let's put in these two. Let's get out of the here these. Let's put those into here. And you see straight away it's produced eight light engineering blocks now we need a lot more than that so we need nine for the bottom one in the middle ten and another nine so we need at least 20 so let's take some more materials from this chest here let's take a stack of copper and a couple of stacks of iron let's take this one chest let's come in here what we can do if we want to keep things from going outside we just simply turn this off in fact that becomes green I'm not quite sure what the difference is but it doesn't matter very much so what we'll do is we'll put in these into here swap this over here so we now have 11 and 12 for that one and that should make I'm not sure how many let's let's see so let's swap that one over for this and put this into here and put some more iron into here so we have another 12 blocks so we have the 20 blocks that's necessary now we also need to produce these industrial squeezers and the industrial squeezer isn't that's going to be the third recipe we're going to make select that and we'll type out the industrial squeezer which is this recipe here and you see what we need is two more of these mechanical components and this is going to produce two we also need two pistons for that we need redstone and iron and of course we've got more iron so we need a lot of iron so what we're going to do let's, I didn't save the recipe did I let's try again okay put that on there and then write this to that there so now when you press shift we should see that okay so let's put this into the assembler keeping these down the bottom the idea of this big chest here is that these can go in here and we need actually we need first of all we need some more of these things let's do that first 10 probably fine and I'm probably going to have to go and get some more iron I also need redstone and cobblestone for the pistons and some wood and we also need cactus green now in here which is full of that this little cactus green yes I prepared some in advance so we'll put the cactus green into here now up we go again and just make sure we get some more um, what did I want oh, pistons in here I've also got a recipe for pistons which is this one here and I should already have in this chest here some pistons made 14 that will make that probably be enough maybe we need more let's just take another one just in case 
All oh, right, relative to Goldstone, surprisingly. Oh, we have 60 pistons. Hopefully, it's enough. We also needed, I think that was all we needed, wasn't it? So, now, let's put the pistons in here. And we need eight of these things. So let's just make sure we that'll give us four. And we've already got two, so we just need three. So that should be sufficient. Take these out of this chest here. Only three in there, probably need more of those. Oh, I forgot to get iron, didn't I? And cactus green. What is that here? Oh. It's already in the cyclic assembler, isn't it? Right. Did I write this recipe? I don't think I did, did I? Select that other. Write the recipe. Now we've got the block. So what do we need? Pistons, iron, these things. Okay, and we need to put in here this recipe. And so it needs two pistons. So we need six pistons in total. Six, not so, that's one. Six pistons. We need six mechanical components. I've only got, f oh, I've got 10, that's fine. We need four iron ingots, which we haven't got enough of. And here we have it, straight away. So now we have sufficient components to build the squeezer. So let's go over here and let's assemble it down here, I think, probably be a good starting point. Give it a few spaces just so we don't need to do anything else. Let's been doing anything else so we have some space to walk around it so we need to put nine of these down nine one in the middle and then here around here we need to put uh, these these block these squeezer blocks I'm gonna have to put that one get it in there so I shall leave one space here so I can put on the top row and put the last one in here and then I think I suspect we need to click this with a hammer yes and I forgot to get the hammer didn't pick up the hammer didn't I same with the hammer on right click left click oh oh yes there we go we have a squeezer let's test it let's put in some seeds what happens does it need power Ah, probably needs power. Okay, I'm going to give it some power. Let's just borrow the power from here and see if it works. So, that was a bit daft to me, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. In fact, let's put it just down here, one of those. got a connection of some description doesn't mean anything with this type of power hopefully it'll work we never can find out until we actually do it no maybe it needs something else like water empty let's have a look at the book see what it says okay say plant tool is created by processing various seeds and in industrial squeezer create the structured picture above 
and click on one of the sides of the, with the engineering hammer to form it. We did that. Power is input at the top or the bottom. Ah, okay. Fluids are output through any of the ports. Right. It helps to read the book, doesn't it? So let's go back again. I don't need that anymore, I don't think. Let's put this one in here. So this is where the power is needed. So maybe I can put it straight on. Let's have a look. And there we are. It's working. So, one squeezer. And so we've now got something useful out of the machine. What I've now got to do is to do the same stuff again, but I won't do that on camera. I'll prepare the components to start with and we'll eventually make it to make the next machine, which is the, I think it's the fermenter. So, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.